Hello everyone, welcome back to Shruti Psychology World. Today the topic is resilience. So before I start, I want to say parents, one skill, one asset, one gift that you need to give to your child is what we call resilience. Resilience means to bounce back from adversity in a healthy manner. It means to handle stress in a positive way, right? So, you know, uh, the thing is, if you yourself do not possess this skill, how can you mentor your child to have this? So we all need to have proficiency and expertise in this very skill because sufferings are inevitable. Sufferings ka hamar, sufferings par hamara koi control nahi hai and sufferings kabhi bata kar nahi aati. Problems kabhi, tragedies kabhi bata kar nahi aati, right? So uh, recently humne dekha ki America ke Texas mein one boy entered school premises and killed little students and teachers. It was really horrific. So those who survived and those who witnessed this crime in front of them, they are in trauma. So what do they need? Now they need to have resilient skills to come out of that, to come out of that adversity, right? So that's why resilience is very, very important in our life. So in this video, I am going to speak on three techniques that we need to have to build our resilient skills. First is resilience log activity. Now, what is resilience log activity? Kya hai? You, you, for this, you need to uh, keep a journal in, in which you write, you mention, you reflect on your capabilities, your strengths, your, uh, your talents, right? So, for example, you can write, I'm good at something. I'm good at this. I, this makes me happy. I approach my life with this attitude, with a fluid mindset or you can say with a fixed mindset. This makes me motivated. This is the purpose of my life. This is the aim of my life, right? So, you know about yourself, you have to write. About your talents, you have to write. So when you know about uh, your capabilities and strengths, then you can celebrate your differences. Okay, this is me. This uh, sets me apart from others, from, from the crowd and uh, appreciate yourself fully embracing how unique and different you are right so after this you can write you can mention the special your special achievements and accomplishments second and third you can mention you can reflect on the challenges that you faced in your life and how things worked out for you right so you can uh, you can write you know how difficult it was for me to learn a particular sport to learn trigonometry, Sim very simple example. Um, how difficult it was for me to, to understand algebra. How difficult it was for me to lead a group of group of people in my workplace. But I did. But I really did very well. So the so the point is when you write all these things, uh, when you keep a journal, is this resiliency log activity? Then what happens? You this gives you self confidence. And uh, this is what we need for resilience, right? So refer to it to energize you. Second is engage yourself in meaningful activities. Second technique, right? So meaningful activities, you know, it, it can be very simple, you know, like uh, expressing gratitude to someone and uh, volunteering, volunteering for a social cause, social welfare programs and uh, you know mentoring someone or or you can you know display a random act of kindness for example uh, you know pick one person a day to show kindness right for example security staff of your society what you can do you can prepare a surprise for them uh, you can plan a surprise for them sorry and you can prepare a refreshing drink and some snacks and uh, just spend some quality lively time with them so that they can cherish these special moments in their life. So, you know, just uh, display this act, random act of kindness. Then what can you do? Then you can uh, craft a flow activity, design a flow activity. What is that? You know, uh, this is a subjective state, state in which a person functions at his or her fullest capacity, right? So for example, you are passionate about badminton, you are playing badminton with your friend and then you wonder how time is going by quickly you lose track of time um, there is no extrinsic reward involved in it but the experience itself is so enjoyable that you participate in it for the sheer sake of doing it 
uh, you're not uh, you know factors such as boredom and fatigue do not interfere uh, no doubt the activity in which you are involved it it requires it is challenging and it involves it requires intense focus but your abilities are well matched with that activity so this is you know this is you are in a state of flow so this is very meaningful and we all need to involve in these activities right um, then you know why i'm saying we need to engage ourselves in meaningful activities because it induces positive emotions in us and positive emotions can help broaden our momentary thoughts and actions and this is a prerequisite for resilience and moreover research has concluded that the daily repertoire of emotions of highly resilient people is remarkably different from those who are not resilient so positive emotions we need to accumulate positive emotions in us right and the third technique the last technique is um, uh, you know silver lining activity right you know, what is this you know train your mind to see the bright side to see the bright sides of everything and uh, for example think of any upsetting experience that you had recently for example you are fired from job and uh, you know you are jobless so you would say the the you know you would say to yourself that uh, i am you know i am jobless and uh, i'm really unfortunate my boss is very cruel i won't get any job in future and my situation will remain like this only so you know what i want to say rather than focusing on the frustrations of the experience you can reflect on three positive things about it right and uh, you know and just you know you need to know how to counter your maladaptive thoughts unhelpful thoughts and try to replace it with a healthier one don't get stuck in replaying the same stories same explanations that produces worry or anxiety just come out of that recreate narratives you tell yourself and uh, you know try writing out a new version uh, with a more positive interpretation so what happens when you do this this can foster a, a sense of control and you can face hardships in a productive way right in this way you can build your resilience so uh, that was all about resilience what i want to say through this i want to say um, viewers resilience is a personal journey you know it's a personal process uh, you know what works well well for one person may not necessarily work for another so you need to you need to think of you need to think of uh, you need to be creative in that process and uh, we all react differently to trauma or to tragedy or to tragedy so you know some people bounce back quickly and some people tend to take longer so you know but i believe that we all have a heroic potential so i just want to say best of luck on this journey right <laughs>